In our next lesson on nitrogen metabolism from Chapter 18, our subject will be pyrimidine biosynthesis. Recall that our pyrimidine bases are cytosine and thymine, and also uracil. Cytosine is present in both RNA and DNA, thymine is present only in DNA, and uracil is present in RNA. In this lesson we'll be looking at the synthesis of ribonucleotides, and so we'll just be looking at the synthesis of CMP and UMP. Recall that in purine synthesis, for that those complex ring structures, we built the ring structures of the base on the sugar foundation. In this case, we start by building the base and then attach it to the same sugar, PRPP. This process also requires amino acids, but since the ring structure is more simplified, we need fewer amino acids to do so, and it requires fewer steps. In this case, to form UMP, we need the amino acid glutamine. It donates the amine group here. Aspartate donates a good portion of the cyclic ring structure here, and then we have the carbonyl that comes from bicarbonate. You'll need to remember which amino acids contribute to the formation of UMP. You'll notice in this case, instead of forming an intermediate, this is actually one of our pyrimidine nucleotides, UMP. In the next step, Kinases will convert UMP to the dye and trinucleotides, and so to form CTP we start with UTP. You'll notice we have a carbonyl on our base here. We're going to replace that with an amine group, and that will come from the amino acid glutamine. The enzyme is CTP synthetase. It requires hydrolysis of ATP, and there's our CTP product. The regulation of the pathway is feedback inhibited by the products, by UMP, UDP, and UTP. ATP activates the first step in synthesis, and this helps to balance the level of purines and pyrimidines. Remember, ATP is a purine. If uh, ATP levels are high, we want to activate the synthesis of pyrimidines so we can keep those levels balanced, and that's how we control the levels of the four types of nucleotides. In this and in the previous lesson, we saw how purine and pyrimidine ribonucleotides are synthesized. In our next lesson, we want to see how we can generate deoxyribonucleotides.